Hello all. Uh, I thought I'd uh, take a chance and install Ubuntu 13.10. Uh, I guess it's still tagged as an alpha version because it's not officially beta in the flagship version. I know the other ones are beta 1 or beta 2. Uh, so, so far so good. Um, much to my surprise, I opened uh, system and went to software and updates and additional drivers. Have you noticed that the software and updates opens up much faster, which is a good thing. Uh, it takes a while to search for drivers. And yes, I installed them right from additional drivers tab. I didn't have to do any command line. And they're the ATI AMD FGLX proprietary drivers. And they're working just fine. As you can probably tell now, I'm using Compiz with the wobbly windows for fun and all the other stuff, the cube, etc. Uh, the only thing was the bevel. Uh, it's not working correctly for me. I don't know if it's the drivers or not. And Compiz is 9.10 or something. Uh, Compiz version. So 0 0.9.10.2, so uh, closer to 1, version 1, but I don't know if it'll make it there, um, according to some sources. And Unity is uh, version 7, I, I believe. Yeah, 7.1.0. And the kernel is pretty close to the... Uh, pretty close to the... Uh, latest one just a couple of uh, dot minor dot release uh, so uh, 311 kernel I think on kernel.org yeah 311.1 so pretty close and I did install lots of additional programs uh, chromium and uh, bleach bit and simple screen recorder uh, audacity gimp uh, tweak tool um, was it Ubuntu Tweak Tool, Unity Tweak Tool? Uh, let me see. Unity Tweak Tool. Uh, looks like a new icon from there. This interface looks a little different, but it's, it's functioning. Um, icon theme, I downloaded uh, one called New Mix, and you can see here, kind of a nice looking, um, different looking. How's that? <laughs> and uh, wallpapers, as you can probably tell it's a different one uh, it's not too many new default ones but that's this is one of them in the back here uh, behavior same thing enable workspaces and then you can set the hot corners to hover back and forth and you can have the show desktop icon indicator on in the left side probably the biggest thing about this is the lenses it, it is pretty responsive uh, security and privacy uh, you can turn these off, clear the uses data, search. I turned off online results. I have no use for Amazon in, in my country, but it's basically the same idea. Uh, details, yeah, pretty much the same um, as we've been seeing in the last few releases. And also, I was able to install Emerald. This is what that's what this window theme is. You just replace it in Compiz, so we'll open, uh, there it is. Go to the window decoration. You just rename that to Emerald if you have that download installed. So here's the Compiz manager, settings manager. Most of the same what you've been seeing, unless you, you know, want to reach out and download development bills and stuff. This is pretty much what you get. Software Center, I think it's working now. Uh, last, yeah, okay, so we'll do this. It's a little off sometimes. As far as the uh, mirror, <laughs> mirror, uh, when I thought, when I first heard that, I thought of the Russian uh, satellite program, but uh, I tried to install the development, ver I don't know what, I guess the development version of mirror, and it installed, and then upon reboot, my screen was uh, like vertical blinds and really uh, impossible to navigate. Thankfully I was able to uh, launch another terminal and remove it and then discovered that I can install my uh, proprietary drivers from inside system. 
settings, but I did want to get a look at Mirror. That was one of the main, main reasons for trying this out on the system. Uh, we can look at the Ubuntu release schedule, the wiki. It's coming out pretty soon. Uh, so where are we? It's 18th today. So down between here. So we're close to the final beta. And supposedly October 17th should be out. So not too much longer to wait. But uh, for an alpha, it's pretty good. It's running pretty good. Uh, what else was there? There's the... Uh, I couldn't find the layout settings to change the sequence to kill the X server, X service. Uh, basically log out, a quick way to log out. I didn't see it here. Uh, so I downloaded... Uh, the other tweak one, uh, tweak, tweak tool, key sequence to kill the X server, control all backspace. That's the only reason I downloaded this, <laughs> so I could have that ability. Uh, the heads up display doesn't have some of the stuff yet, like shut down or restart or log out. It doesn't seem to be working. And on the uh, menu here, log out, suspend. Shut down. Sometimes shut down and restart is here. And now it's not. One thing that hasn't worked is the fixed Plymouth. Uh, if you install the proprietary drivers, either one from AMD or uh, NVIDIA, um, it messes up your splash screen uh, upon startup. But it's not, this didn't, script didn't work, unfortunately. Hopefully it will in the final version. Okay, so I probably forgot a bunch of things I was going to mention, but this is Ubuntu 13.10 just before release, about a month before release, and on a system, on a, you know, actual computer, <laughs> uh, running pretty good. So a quick look at uh, what uh, Ubuntu 13.10 will uh, look like in a month's time. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.